Hello everybody, this is Torian. Um, I'm back again. I'm going to do this bit uh, separate from the one that I've been doing at 10 p.m. every night. Uh, if you want to check that one out, check it out. It's pretty good. Um, I am call or I, I'm, it, it goes, the blog goes by the name of uh, the system according to timeline. The system we know according to timeline. I have that in, in, in blog form too on uh, Blogger and uh, WordPress. But uh, right now I'm wanting to discuss things that I've been seeing on YouTube especially about people who are claiming to be independent news media sources and uh, people who get on with their commentaries, you know, and talking about media or in the news and stuff like that and my thoughts about it um, here lately well before I get started let me say too that I'm just starting out so if uh, I make mistakes and uh, I have bad grammar and stuff like that forgive me about that and my voice it's not very good when it comes to recording so <laughs> you have to excuse me well let me get started um, I uh wanted to bring up a couple things uh, especially when it comes to people like uh, Dabu77 you know and Kips Clips and groups like that that get on the internet um, on YouTube and they start claiming that they are talking about the news and things that are happening in the world today you know, as if they're actual you know, actually doing something that's constructive. Um, I find that that kind of thing alarming because it's like I said in my other uh, cast. You know that uh, for me, I, I want to try to be informative, and I don't want to use dramatization and flair in order to get attention. Um, I want people when they hear the things that I have to say, I want them to understand that I'm not trying to impress them, I'm not trying to be somebody that I'm not, I'm just trying to give information that I think is important. Um, I hear these people, these guys get on there, especially uh, Kip's Clips, you know, and he tries to use emotions to somehow persuade you and me and everybody else that, you know, he's like cool and he's freaking somebody that I want to listen to and that he's one of us that kind of bullshit you know um, I think that that kind of destroy destroy or distorts what messages he's trying to put out and I know I see that too with a uh, Dabu 77 uh, he he's a nicer guy about it you know and I can see that he's really religious and stuff like that but at the same time when he gets on there and he starts trying to act all macho and you know you don't come on my my channel and start you know trolling and everything and, I, and starts getting all crazy and shit like that for me I don't give a shit if you troll on mine you can say whatever you want in my comment section I don't give a shit you know I'm not here for your freaking popularity contest I'm here to just put out a message and I'm gonna put out a message that is actually you know it's not freaking to influence you to like me kind of shit you know what I mean so that's one issue that I've had another issue that I've had is uh, these alternative news media sources and you know I mean I like these guys too I like uh, the, the the Corbett report I like Sibel, Sibel Edmond. I like a lot of these people. Newsbud. I think they're great. But the one thing that I find disturbing is that they call themselves alternative media sources. And they claim that they want to give information to us that's being held against us. And at the same time, they go to Patreon and they start an account. And now there's saying that in order to stay safe from the 
mainstream media and censorship that they have to go to Patreon and have us pay money to them so that we can listen to their broadcasts and watch their newscasts and, and things like that. And I've noticed, like, especially Corbett, you know, uh, he's starting this thing where he's selling CDs so that freaking, you know, we can watch this episode or that episode. And he's doing it, you know, as an advertisement. And now they're going on and they're wanting everybody to donate money to make themselves an independent news you know whatever they call it but uh at the same time they're saying that freaking they're being censored and they're getting ready to lose their right to be on youtube and stuff like that which is free services um and i don't see that happening um if you are an idiot and you get on youtube and you say i'm a member of the kkk then that means that they're going to ban you and that's they're gonna prevent you from being able to post videos and stuff like that but so far I haven't seen anything drastic where they're kicking people off for you know ordinary alternative media um, I haven't seen that but anyhow these guys they to me they seem to be doing the whole Alex Jones thing you know Alex Jones he comes out with his message and then he starts talking about these vitamins and these supplements that are made out of freaking colloidal silver and colloidal gold that's supposed to enhance your health and make your dick hard and shit you know and that, that's the things that are getting on my nerves you know um, I personally have nothing against YouTube. I have nothing against any of these others. Um, I've started going on mines, and they're the same way, you know, save your internet and all this crap. Um, I see just as much censorship and, and preventing people from getting what they put out over the internet off of mines is what I do, all the rest of them. Um, they don't you know for me like views i think views are very important i take very much time i take a lot of time in, in putting out my material making sure that i have organic reach and stuff like that because if i have good organic reach then i know that if i turn around and i monetize or if i pay for boosting a post or something like that that I'm going to get more for my money. Well, when you go on mines, you don't get the reach that they're claiming that you get. Um, and I'm having issues with that. I believe that it might be a part of their encryption or something preventing uh, people from seeing views and stuff like that. But it, it still doesn't feel comfortable to me. You know, and these are all people that are supposed to be trying to help us. And I don't see that. I see them taking and turning something into a gimmick and trying to make money off of it. Um, I guess that should probably be the end of my rant. I'm going to leave it at that. And I will talk to you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed my rant, and, uh, but I just wanted to get that off my my mind, get used to talking over this thing. Like I said, excuse my language, and excuse my lack of uh, technology too. I'm actually recording this off of an iPad, so if it sounds pretty strange or it sounds pretty bad, that could be it too, other than my fucked up voice. So, I'm going to get off here. You guys enjoy your night. Bye.